Um, substituting into formula is um, particularly relevant um, in the sciences and in engineering. So following on from our last lesson, we're going to have a look at a few examples. If P equals Q times R, so that's our formula, find P when Q equals 5 and R equals 7. So with these, it's the same steps as before, we're going to replace the letters with the relevant numbers and calculate the answer. So first thing you would do is write down the formula. Now the difference between this and the last lesson is we've now got this letter on the left, but that's okay. We're just going to keep that letter on the left and work on the right hand side of the equation. On the next line, we're putting in 5 instead of Q and 7 instead of R and we're keeping that P on the left hand side. Then we calculate the answer, which is 35. So they asked us to find P when Q equals 5 and R equals 7. So P is 35. And that's the answer. Next example, if A equals BC over 10, so that's the formula, find A when B equals 6 and C equals 2.5. So same again, we're going to write down the formula. On the next line, we're going to put in the numbers. We know that BC just means B times C. So on the next line, instead of putting B times C over 10, we are going to replace it with the numbers. 6 times 2.5 over 10. And again, we're keeping this letter on the left hand side of the equal sign. Using bod mass, we're going to calculate the answer. So doing the multiplication first, 6 times 2.5 is 15. So we end up with 15 over 10. And we were asked to find out what A is. A is 15 over 10. You could leave it as a fraction or you could simplify that fraction by dividing by 5 or you could change it into a decimal. It depends on what the question asks you to do. I could simplify the fraction and end up with 3 over 2 or I could change it into a decimal by doing 3 divided by 2 and I'd end up with 1.5. So A equals 1.5. One more example. If x equals 3w squared plus 2b, find x when w equals 5 and v equals 10. Write down your formula first, then we're going to replace the letters with numbers. I've just realised that's not supposed to have a 2 on it. This is supposed to be x. Then we're going to replace the letters with numbers. Um, we know that 3w squared means 3 times w squared and 2v means 2 times v. So on the next line, we're keeping the x on the left hand side and on the right hand side, we've got 3 times 5 squared plus 2 times 10 instead of 2 times v. Using bod mass again, we need to start by working out what 5 squared is. 5 squared is 25 because it means 5 times 5. So we've got x equals 3 times 25 plus 2 times 10. Again, using bod mass, we now need to do the multiplication. So 75 plus 20, and then we can add them together. And we end up with x equals 95. 